Now, Eyewitness Sports, eight-time winner of the PAB's Excellence in Broadcasting Award. King's College might be on break for the summer, but Scanlon Gymnasium is packed as it hosts the 16th annual J.P. and Draco Basketball Camp. About 100 local boys ages 8 to 16 are participating in the five-day clinic put on by Monarchs men's basketball coach J.P. and Draco. He just finished his 17th season at King's and says it's important to help kids develop by stressing both fundamentals and fun. What we try to do is the same thing all the time. Um, we try to teach the kids some fundamentals of the game. You know, we want them to come in and learn things the right way. Uh, we want them to have fun. You know, at this age, young age, they should be playing the game because they love it and they're having a good time with it. Um, it's the reason that we all started playing, so we get them to do the same thing. And finally, we want them to make friends. I've been coming to this camp because it's a lot of fun, and they teach like all the drills here on dribbling, rebounding, and shooting. And it's been helping me. I won the championships after coming here, and it's really helped me out with basketball. This is the first of two camps this summer, and there's still room in the July clinic. You can find out how to sign up on the Kings Athletics website. Hall of Fame lineman Mike Munchak is taking a break from Steelers' summer workouts to return to his native Scranton for his 23rd annual charity golf outing on Monday. Munchak is going into his fifth year as Pittsburgh's offensive line coach and tells us he's confident in what the black and gold can accomplish this season. People that don't get a chance to see all the things I see, uh, let me just say for you, it's, it's exactly what you think it is. It's a great place to work. They want to win. That's why they have the following they have. That's why they have the most Lombardi trophies. And obviously, we're looking forward to getting that seventh one. I want to be part of that extra one that's, that, that's missing in the showcase. So we got a lot of work ahead of us, uh, like you always do. I think every year this time of year, every NFL team thinks they can win it again. I'm sure Eagle fans think they can win again next year. We just never know what each year will bring. We're very talented. We're going to be right in the mix. Uh, uh, there's no reason we shouldn't be right in the fight uh, to win this thing, and we understand that. That's the expectation. And as an Eagles fan, Munchak is right. We do think we're going to win it again. The knockout round of the 2018 FIFA World Cup is almost set as group play winds down. But one team that hasn't locked up its spot in the round of 16 is defending World Cup champion. That's right, Germany needed a win over South Korea. But can you believe it? In stoppage time, the Koreans deliver a dagger on the corner kick. Then a few minutes later, they score on an empty net. Korea wins 2 to nothing, humiliating the Germans. This is the earliest exit for the Germans in the World Cup since 1938. So with Germany out, that means either Mexico or Sweden can win Group F as they go head to head. But it was all Sweden in this one. They found the back of the net three different times in a 3-0 thrashing of Mexico. But that's okay, both teams will advance with Sweden winning the group. Moving on to Group E, Brazil needs a win or a draw over Serbia to advance to the round of 16. No action until the 36th minute. Coutinho sends a perfect ball to Paulinho for the finishing touch, and it's 1-0 Brazil. They would add one more in route to a 2-0 win and a guaranteed spot in the knockout stage. So with Serbia's defeat, Switzerland can advance with a win, draw, or loss to Costa Rica. So this game was about finishing with no disasters, but it was far from boring. Both teams would strike twice on their way to a 2-2 draw. Switzerland will now play Sweden in the round of 16. We'll be right back.